So I've been looking for a new camera carrying system that is not exactly like everything else that I've traditionally had. Most camera carrying and transportation systems are usually backpacks and they're made for photographers with mirrorless cameras. This is the backpack that I've been using for the last year or so. It's the douche bags. I think it's just called the backpack. I forget, I did a review on it like a long time ago on my channel. Great bag, very small, but good bag if you're trying to have kind of a nice, well-built, high quality bag to transport your camera. In. But now that I have this thing, the Sony FX6, I need something a little bit more substantial to carry the camera if I'm not carrying it built out and I wanna carry it in the bag to transport it itself. So what this meant was finding something that was like a hard case, like a Pelican, which a lot of people normally have. Another big thing is that optics are everything on video shoots. People want you to have professional gear and look professional because you're a professional and they're paying you and they want to see that investment tangibly because videos are an intangible investment. They're an intangible asset because you can't feel them. They're a digital video that they're going to use for some type of marketing purposes. So when they see the tangible expense of things, how many times am I going to say tangible, around them, it's a lot easier for them to see why it costs so much money, you know, why you charge so much money for everything that you own. So by having a professional look on set, you're showing your client that, hey, you know what you're doing and it was a good investment. It also helps you stand out from other people that may be just using a mirrorless camera. There's so many people with an A7 III like me back in the day in a gimbal and they think they're videographers, which they are, I was, I am. So I just spent $8,000 to make myself more professional. No, what I'm saying right. is you wanna stand out and be more professional on set. And that's one of the things that I wanted to do and one of the reasons why I was looking into a hard case. So the reason that I really needed this case was so that you guys would smash the like button. I'm waiting, it's, it's, do it, you're already here. You, you went through the intro. Also, I've looked and only 1% of people that watch these videos are actually subscribed. So if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. I'll talk about the video now. So like I said before, why did I buy this case? Well, the big thing was so I have uh, a case to carry around this big old camera that fit nice and kept it secure. I wanted something extremely secure that is going to withstand the test of time and uh, wasn't going to bang around my camera. I also just wanted kind of a case so I could put other things in there um, and fit a bit more stuff than just a basic camera bag. It's also a lot easier to just use a case to open it up nicely and uh, kind of take things out, put it in, you get a lid organizer. It's all really nice and makes uh, on set time more efficient. So another thing that I wanted was just a better on set workflow. Like I said, efficiency is really key when you're on set and keeping things under different time restraints. So I bought a camera dolly and with this dolly, I wanted to be able to just stack my bags and cases and everything for lights and C stands onto this dolly, move it around. And because of that, I really wanted a case instead of just a different camera bag or something like that. And I want something pretty sturdy so I could just stack it on there and not worry if it falls off or if I stack something else on top of it. Also, I'd like to travel in the future. Right now where I'm at, in Manitoba, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. But when that does happen, I wanna be able to take this case with me on a plane, and this case is carry-on compatible. So when looking at camera cases, there's a few different options. The most popular that I've seen is the Pelican cases. They have a range of different products, but for video production and people traveling, I've seen the 1510 as a very popular option. I've also seen the Pelican 1535 Air. That was the one I almost bought for hearing about Nanook. Uh, the, just on a note, Pelican cases, the quality looks Amazing, I would say it would. I'd be happy with my purchase. They also have an awesome set of color schemes and they're just kind of the classic what everybody has. If you see somebody with a Pelican and they're like a camera looking guy, it's probably a camera in there. So before purchasing my Pelican, I was doing a little research and I saw Nanook and I saw them previously, maybe an ad or something, and I noticed that they were a Canadian. So I wanted to support my Canadian brethren and uh, the great white north. I'm also a sheep and I see other people using Pelican cases so I just think they're better because of that brand awareness that I have from seeing people like Potato Jet and Peter McKinnon use Pelican cases. This is until I saw a review by, I think he's a photographer, Cam McKay. Cam McKee, I, I have it here just in case. And he did a review saying that he bought a Pelican for a photo shoot and then it didn't come in time. So he went out and bought a Nook because they were available use it on the photo shoot. And then when the Pelican came in, he noticed that the Nook was way better. He said that the clasps were better, the uh, carrying handle, the pull handle, the wheels, everything was a little bit better on the Nook. So he actually kept the Nook and sent the Pelican back. This changed my mind. So I was like, you know what? They look pretty awesome. I'm gonna go with them. Oh, it's heavy. So I went with the uh, Nook 935 in silver and this guy, I think they're hard, they're solid. 
This guy here has the lid organizer and the padded divider, which I really love. I think it's an awesome feature. So I went with this color because I thought it looked awesome and it's just cool. And the padded divider was really good because I could rearrange that and move that around so it's flexible with putting different camera gear in. The lid organizer is great for organizing and separating little things into different parts at the top of the case. So I'm really happy with that purchase as well. The handle is awesome and the pullout handle is also really good for being able to move it around and just wheel it around. It's also got a couple different handles on the sides so that you can just pick it up like a briefcase. And the wheels are super good. Like I said, the clasps on this thing are so tight. They have like a cool locking mechanism that is a little bit different than the Pelican. And overall, just the build quality is, you know, superior. I, I think it is better than the Pelican. I would recommend this over the Pelican. I think if you get a Pelican case, it's still gonna be amazing, but I wanna support these Canadian people. Obviously, this video was not sponsored at all by Nanook. I wish it was because I would get a free case and wouldn't have to pay a bunch of money. But if you like this video, if you like camera and gear related reviews, I'll be making a lot more. So stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.